exciting to be alive? Three things. Simple. Okay, Just keep it simple. Yeah. Um, um, excitement. You know, I'm, I'm excitement ready. Excitement makes you excited to be alive? I mean, yeah, like adrenaline. <laughs> adrenaline, yeah. I guess. You know, like, I'm a race car driver. So, uh, See you later. Those are like daily things. You know, one of my favorite things about the cold weather, I hate cold weather, right? Like it sucks. It's it's like gonna be in the teens tomorrow. But I leave my car in the garage. I leave a whole box of LaCroix in there, which is like sparkling flavored water. It's, it's pretty good. And uh, I walk downstairs every day when I get to my car, I have cold beverages in the back of my car. Wow. We are really big time now, guys. We just got to the gym, guys. We're about to work out, and then we're gonna open up the turf. Uh, that, that's the package I just showed you guys. I don't have any water in the refrigerator here. So you know what we do? We take our flight, 300 milligrams of caffeine, to the dome. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna mm. be dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, shit. We need to wash it down. No, I'm good, dude. <laughs> Oh man, that's a big scoop too. All right guys, if you want 10% off BBM products, you can use Corey at checkout. Save some money, time to work out. Welcome to the workout portion of today's video, guys. What we are gonna to do today is we are gonna do some freaking deficit sumo deadlifts. It is a new six week block. I ran the conjugate for six weeks. I deloaded last week. And that's one thing is like deloading is hard to do. Like, I don't know about you guys, but the gym is the highlight of my day. That is the best part of the day. I love going to the gym. I love getting a sick pump. I love doing squats and deadlifts and bench press. And when you have to deload a week and you can't do as much and I took a couple more off days, it's pretty killer but it was needed. So that's like something to remember. You have to take a break every once in a while, especially if you're running a program that can get pretty taxing. Uh, so I worked up to 455. It was work up to a heavy single. Uh, and this is something that I've really noticed with, with sumo deadlifts. I am terrible off the floor. And that's usually how uh, the sumo deadlift is for me and most lifters, I think. It's a lift where it's a little bit harder off the floor, but like once I get it off the floor, maybe like four or five inches, I can usually find a way to lock that thing out. So what am I gonna do over the next six weeks. I'm realizing my weakness, if I could just get a little bit stronger off the floor. Well, for the next six weeks, I'm changing my conjugate programming. Uh, and basically, I'm going to just take deficit deadlifts. Anytime I see like do sumo deadlifts or straight legged deadlifts or conventional, and I'm going to do them all off a deficit. So these are 35 pound bumper plates. I think it's around three inches. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do it for six weeks. And then imagine how easy my deadlift will feel the next time I do a normal deadlift. It'll almost feel like I'm doing a block pull. And my block pull is like 550 right now. So I could probably get back up there. My goal is 600 this year. Like that is my freaking goal. Um, so we did the we did the sumo deficits. I'm getting off track here. And then we did this yoke bar, the safety squat bar from Elite FTS. The program did call for front squats, but I honestly like this a lot more. I feel it more on my quads. I'm not like choking myself with the barbell. Uh, and they're awesome. If you've never used this kind of barbell, it is sick. So we did four sets of five reps here at 70% of our front squat max. So for me, that was around 220 pounds. So all in all, solid workout moving forward, kill in 2018. 
So we just got done with the squats, guys. And now I'm strapping myself into the newest piece of equipment at the gym. This is a dedicated hip thrust bench. I didn't buy, buy this with the hopes of improving my squat, my deadlift. I actually bought it with the hopes of becoming an Instagram fitness model where you just, you just do glutes all day. That's the only thing you ever have to work out is glutes. Wouldn't it be nice, dude? If you, could oh, just, yeah. if you could just be like, I'm just gonna wear out twice a week and only do glutes and then just take one picture a day, make a couple million a year. Looking back at the mirror, it's just and all never, And never have to do anything else other than just take a bikini picture, dude. I'd like to see that, <laughs> make it happen. But in all seriousness, guys, I did buy this because it's an awesome piece of equipment. It appeals to the ladies, it appeals to the power lifters, and uh, you really feel this in your glutes after, dude. Mm -hmm. Just like a... 15,000 likes and Mike takes a bikini pic after this. Oh yeah, dude, that's coming soon. 15,000 likes on this video and I'll post a glute picture. I'm gonna get 15,000 dislikes now, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah those no. count as well. Hell no. Whichever one you want. But this is really an awesome piece of equipment. I've never seen a gym that has one, so I decided to buy it. Why? Because we like to do things a little bit differently here at Obtain Strength. I'm gonna be sponsored by Gymshark soon, guys. <sighs> Sorry, Ape. I take too good of glute pictures to be on Ape. Arm pump was insane today. Woo! <laughs> You guys just tip it over. All right. Just pull there. it off. There, just pull it off. There you go. So after waiting for the turf for about a month, guys, it is finally here and it looks so freaking sick. So like one of my gripes with the gym was, you know, we moved to a much bigger space and before I felt like everything was on that side of the gym and there wasn't really a lot of stuff over here. So one of my missions for like the next couple weeks is try to figure out how to distribute the crowd a little bit better in the gym. Cause at night when there's a lot of people, I feel like all the action is over there. So I think this will help a lot. I'm gonna eventually put some machines over there. And originally, if you've been following these videos closely, the turf was, actually gonna go right here, down this piece right here, but I felt like all of that right there is just wasted room if I had the turf here, and then if the turf was here, I couldn't put any more equipment right here. So all in all, the turf right here, just down the middle, it's a nice centerpiece. It's not too wide, it's five feet wide and 50 feet long, and I mean, it just looks so good. It is nice to see the gym uh, really coming together now. I've uh, just got, got to mat this, and then I'm gonna kind of tweak some stuff, move some equipment around, buy some more things. But it's it's coming together, guys. This is like the sickest gym in Oklahoma, in Tulsa by far. Uh, and it's crazy that it has obtained strength. You guys see what I mean? Look at this. I just finished a workout. Man, I'm thirsty. My car is a refrigerator in the winter, ready to go. I'm telling you guys, do not sleep on this stuff. I remember I, the first time I had this, I was like, eh, that's gross. I had it at my mom's house, but then I drank one. And I was like, I kind of want another after I finish it. Then I drank another, and then I drank another, and it's weird. Now when I go have like a diet soda, it tastes way too sweet. It's really weird. Because I used to love diet soda, and now I'm just all about LaCroix. 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 So later in the day, guys, I've got two bagel, peanut butter, and jelly sandwiches, so good, a can of kidney beans for the fiber, and two scoops of BPN whey protein. You know something? I didn't like peanut butter and jelly growing up, 
But now as an adult, I don't know why it just grossed me out, but now as an adult, I'm like, oh, this is a very gourmet meal. Peanut butter and jelly. It's marvelous. I think it's like the best thing ever. But uh, Paige and I are going to watch some Bachelor, right? And you might be like, oh, you're such a loser. Well, we watched episode one this morning, right? And uh, I was like, oh, I'm not going to watch it. This is fake. This is stupid. Who wants to watch this crap? And I just sat there and I kept watching, kept watching. And now I feel like I have to watch episode two. Uh, but one thing I noticed, it's very, very funny with girls. This one girl like did this extravagant entrance and it was like, wow, that was really over the top. It was nice and thoughtful. She had a race car and like all the other girls, how competitive are girls? All the other girls were like, oh, what a bitch. Like, <laughs> what? She's just, <laughs> just playing the game. <laughs> hey, Bo, go get it. Go get your toy. Go get it, please. Go get your toy. Look at this, guys. Look how smart Bo is. All right, he's going to bring it back here. He's going to set it on my lap. Go ahead. Sit. Good boy. And then I'll go get it. Look at that. Look how good you are. You're so good. Okay, let's do it again. Put it on my lap. Set it there. Sit. Thank you. Go get it. Aren't dogs like the best freaking animal ever? I've never owned like other animals, but like... I just, I can't. I would never own like a raccoon or a tiger or something because I just love dogs so much. Um, but that's where I'm gonna wrap this video up, guys. You know what? Someone commented something last time and it like made my day. It was like, hey, you don't, you haven't uploaded in a minute. I was going crazy. But uh, you know, we miss you. You should even upload videos when you feel like you're not doing anything fun or like exciting. You know, that's kind of what I feel like YouTube's turned into is like, how can I one up someone else or go to this cool place or do this or drive this cool car? But there's, I think there's always at the end of the day, there's going to be something like that's very nice about YouTube because it's very raw. And if you've watched videos for a long time, uh, it's just, it's just me and the camera. It's just very personal. It's very, it can be very raw. You can go through a lot together. Uh, and that's just kind of what I focus on. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not trying to like do all this cool stuff and like go jump out of planes and stuff. I'm just me, right? And I'm taking you guys along the way. And I'm thankful for everyone that has ever watched over the last eight years. So it's almost been eight years. Damn. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up so I can upload it today. Smack the thumbs up button. Let's try to get 6,000 likes. Six million likes, actually. And uh, I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Cheers.